What's going on guys? We are now 11 days out from the Honolulu Marathon and in today's episode we're doing something a little bit different than a traditional workout episode and just showing you a little bit behind the scenes of what I try and do in the most ideal morning or day setup for doing all the little things that really make a big difference in training. First thing I do every single morning, I'm going straight to the coffee. Ideally after that, then move to some meditation, usually guided for about 10 minutes just to really get a good feel and gauge of where my thoughts are, how my body's feeling before I start the day, really just kind of get centered before starting the work. After that, I have been doing cold exposure like crazy and so after my runs, but ideally in the morning as well, especially if my legs are feeling sore from training the day prior, hop in the tub, literally my tub that I just fill with as cold a water as possible and dump my all the ice that I have in there. But out of anything that I've done to help treat my inflammation and just the discomfort that I feel in my knees, jumping into a cold tub with ice has hands down had the most positive impact of anything that I've done over the last three years or so to, to help alleviate that those knee issues. After that, I like to jump into some stretches, grabbing the foam roller, absolutely love the foam roller, targeting my calf, my hamstrings, but more recently too, spending a lot more time focusing on the quads and the IT band. I think a lot of the discomfort that I'm experiencing within my knee and the inflammation is being caused by overly tight IT bands as well as overly tight quads. And that's creating a lot of strain on top of the kneecap. And if these, this is my quad and this is uh, my calf or my lower leg, uh, it's just pulling really tight. And during that pulling, it's creating additional pressure on my kneecap. And I think that's where a lot of my knee issues are coming from. So I've really been trying to make a point of spending extra time with the foam roller on the quads as well as the IT band as well. After that, usually I would head over to the gym. Today, um, I'm gonna do a late run tonight. Instead, whipping up my favorite late morning or lunch meal, which is really my take on breakfast tacos. I do two egg whites with two whole eggs just to try and cut out some fat in the egg portion. I like to add beans, which my friends give me a ton of a hard time for, but I think it's it's great extra protein. I just I think it adds just a little bit more a little bit more substance to the tacos. Today we added some jalapeno as well as red onion and then some fresh pico de gallo. A little bit of cheese on top, of course, and then hot sauce. I have actually already ate one since uh, starting filming this, but uh, this is honestly, as far as what I eat on a regular basis, I eat eggs basically every single every single day. For I, I usually I fast through breakfast um, and usually eat first time around 11, 12 o'clock, and it's typically. Some, some form of eggs. And dinners I leave flexible. I really do love um, the air fryer. It has been an amazing new addition to my life. A salad with salmon or chicken. If I am staying on top of things, you know, I'm, I'm cooking all my meals at home, which I think is the biggest thing. Uh, just having proper home cooked meals as opposed to ordering delivery or, or just not eating well. So, that all leads into getting some good rest and thanks to my whoop strap, I really make a point of staying on top of how well I'm sleeping, how well I'm recovering. All the travel definitely took a toll. Um, it definitely was difficult to get a consistent sleep schedule, to maintain rest. I, I really, I had tried within this block to push as hard as I could given all the travel and family and everything that was really going on within the last couple of weeks to still maintain training as a priority. But um, I think I did it to the best of my ability. I'm, go I'm giving as much strain as I possibly can uh, without risking injury. And um, that's a little bit ties into this video today too, where since the Honolulu video, um, I've just, my knee had not been feeling 100% and I just felt like doing all these little things that I've mentioned in today's video. That's why I wanted to 
make this episode more about recovery and um, just doing all the little things to get yourself in the best position possible to perform as best as possible on race day. I feel like a lot of the work is now done. Um, a lot of the training is now behind me. It's just about getting really good nutrition, really good rest, stretching, making sure that everything is feeling 100% so we can just string everything together for a really strong race out there in, yeah, it's like 12 days. So, um, 12 or 11. So, all that being said, I'm going to enjoy this last taco. Uh, if you have any questions, again, I use the Whoop Strap to track my rest and recovery and workouts. I use, well, not my, I use my Apple Watch on the runs, but um, I also use the Motive app that has curated this training program for me over the last really about um, 10 weeks. And um, this will be my first marathon. So I couldn't be more excited to see how it all shakes out. I'm not so much excited about the 5 a.m. start time. That seems pretty unnecessary, but we'll see how it goes. At least it's not, at least the heat won't play a factor. So with that, everyone, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got four more episodes before, no, three more episodes before the race, one race episode, and then a post-race episode. We'll wrap this up at a 10-episode series. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.